Hi Rosie friends, it's Julie and today I'm happy to give an update on my balcony container gardening and the all the vegetables and things that I'm growing out there. Um, the footage that you're seeing right now is from about uh, just about two weeks ago so I thought I'd show sort of the progress of how things are going and I also thought I would share a weird little thing that I'm doing um, to try to keep things a little bit more natural and a little bit more organic and to save water at the same time and that would be um, allowing my pet fish to help me to make sure that my plants are healthy and happy and will have really great crops. So I'm super hopeful for uh, uh, what I'm doing. I've never um, done this step with my fish before. Um, I have done it with my house plants and they've been fine, but they've never had to produce things that, you know, actual crops of things. So I'm not really sure how that'll go, but I'm really excited about giving it a try. Um, if you saw my original video, then you'll know the kinds of things that I'm growing out here. Um, I'll put a link to that so that you can click it if you want and check it out and it'll probably be in the description below as long as I remember to put it there. But yeah, so this is what things looked like uh, just about two weeks ago and I still had the domes on in case of frost, but they're all off now. And these are my pet fish. I have five of them. They are platies and uh, there's one male and four females and uh, their names are Blue and squash, and pumpkin, and toxic, and Daniela. And, um, I guess they're a little camera shy because they keep swimming away from me as I try to film them, but, um, yeah, I think that they are precious. I've had, I've kept fish for years, and, um, every week I have to change, take out some of their water to, um, make sure that it stays clean. I do have a filter in the tank, but, um, it's also important to remove some of the water and put fresh water in and to clean up the gravel. And that just happens to be a really great thing to do for plants. So the way that I, do that is I take a gravel vacuum which is essentially just a siphon so it's like a tube with a wide end and I take some containers that I can use to store the water that I take out of the tank such as a watering can and that other purple thing that I have and then a big bucket for any extras or overflow that's um, kind of important so I normally put these smaller containers inside the bucket so that in case I'm not paying attention and it spills over then it doesn't land all over my carpet um, and just in case I do have rags handy for that too and essentially oh and I also make sure to keep the um, additional water that I'm going to put back in the tank um, off to the side that is water that has been carefully treated to take out the chlorine and chloramines and other things from the tap water because tap water will kill off the natural good bacteria that is essential to a healthy tank. So here I'm just starting the siphon. Essentially I'm just making sure that water is throughout all of the tubing and the other end of that is inside the one of the containers that will be catching the water and all I'm doing there is just sort of jamming the end of the tube into the gravel at the bottom of the tank to disturb the gravel and release any any ickies <laughs> that are trapped inside and while there are like the fish waste and the any kind of uneaten food will have fallen into the gravel and things like that, anything that hasn't been captured by the filter, which is the big sort of black thing in the back of the tank. Um, aquarium water also has a whole pile of other things, uh, chemicals and things in it, um, like nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium and ammonia. Oh, my tank reads zero for ammonia, but the whole reason that you take the water out is to make sure that the ammonia doesn't build up in it because ammonia is poisonous to fish. That said, all of those things, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, ammonia, and even some of the bacteria and other microorganisms that are great for a fish tank, they're also, or that are, that are found in a fish tank, they are great for plants. So I may want to remove things like ammonia and nitrogen from the tank, but my plants absolutely love that. It is a, these are things that you see if you buy a bag of fertilizer, those are things that you see in there. So by doing this, and cleaning out, I'm just, I t tend to focus on things like the corners and the areas underneath all of the ornaments and stuff like that where ickies can collect because they, they it's less likely for them to get um, taken by the current. So because it, the current might not pick it up and it might just get trapped there, then that's why I tend to focus on those areas because that seem, that's where the good stuff really is. Um, so, yep, so I do this once a week anyway. And um, if I wasn't watering my plants with it, then I'd just be pouring all that water down the drain. And that's a big tank and I take out, it's a 10 gallon tank. And um, I take about a 10th out of it 
and uh, every time I clean, if you if you're watching, I don't know if you've been watching the water line, but it is dropping throughout the entire time that I'm doing that. So I take about a tenth to a fifth out of it, maybe a gallon to two gallons, closer to a tenth. Um, and because I'm taking, uh, because I have that extra water, instead of pouring it down the drain, I can just water my plants with it, and it provides them the plants with the kind of nutrition that they need. And um, hopefully, <laughs> my my goal is to make sure that I don't have to chemical fertilize my plants. I don't have to play around with actual manure on my balcony, and uh, I can actually use the water from my tank for a great purpose. So that's what I am doing, and that's what I'm hoping will result from this. Um, clearly you can see that my fish are absolutely used to this happening. They're not stressed out at all. They're just swimming around. They will approach my hand and the tube and things like that, or they'll back off depending on how they feel. But, um, yep, this doesn't disturb them or anything like that. And, um, it helps to make sure that the fish will stay happy too, and that they'll stay healthy because it keeps their water from getting toxic over time. So I just thought that it would be fun to share this with you on how I would uh, go about doing this and help incorporate my fish and my fish tank into my balcony garden. But I should also point out that um, not all fish tanks are appropriate for this. If you have um, a saltwater tank, which I do not, this is a freshwater tank, then you can't do it because the salt water will kill your plants. Um, if you have chemicals in your tank, for example, if you medicate your tank, if you have a sick fish, or if you use a whole pile of, there, there are a lot of different things like ammo lock and things that are supposed to stop the ammonia in the tank. Um, then that could end up doing bad things to your plants or making it so that they're not safe to the vegetables are not safe to eat. The only thing that I use is a treatment to take the chlorine and chloramines and other things from the tap water to make it um, appropriate for a, t a fish tank so it won't kill all of the good bacteria in the tank. That's all I have in there, which means that the water is perfectly. Uh, safe to use for plants. Also, my fish are all perfectly healthy. Um, they don't have any signs of any kind of disease or anything like that. I don't know if that would even do anything, but um, just in case, I have been watching them very, very closely. And if one of them were to become ill or anything like that, then I just, I wouldn't use the water on the plants uh, that are producing food for me. I would just use it on the plants, any of the plants that I have around the house. I have a lot of things like spider plants and calancho and um, African violets and things like that. And they, they, they can have that water. <laughs> I'm sure they don't mind. So as you can see, the water line has dropped by about an inch from the top. Um, it's down to there now. Normally you can't, I fill it so much that you can't actually see the water line. It goes above that little black strip at the top of the tank. Um, so I just add new... Uh, treated water. It's just fresh water uh, from the tap that's been treated to take the chlorine and chloramines out and it has been brought to the temperature of the tank so that I don't shock my fish because um, stress is really really bad for fish just like it is for people so I don't like to do that to them. So then I'm showing in the bottom of the bucket that had the spillover. Um, this would be some of the crud that came out of the bucket. So that's a lot of fish waste and not eaten food and a little bit of just gravel bits and things like that. And that will all go into the garden. So this is about a week ago. Um, this is what the garden looked like, a little bit of progress. Okay, that doesn't look like progress because the seeds are, haven't uh, started yet there. But um, as you can see, um, a lot of my plants are, are taller. This was a slightly sunnier day. It has been really gray and rainy for the last while here, so um, it has been hard to get some sun. My plants are really in need of sun, but um, they have definitely been getting all the water they need, and they have. I'm so proud of the little things because they've stood up to quite a pounding of rain over the last while, some really d big downpours. And uh, as you can see here, I've taken the domes off because there's really no risk of frost now. And uh, now we're into this. I filmed this one earlier today and the bean is way high now. And it's really, it was so sunny today and gorgeous. And see the peas are just taking off um, because there were a few sunny days in the last two, three days, um, or at least there was sun and rain. Um, they've really started to sprout. Some of the seeds that hadn't sprouted at all are starting to come up. Some of the little leafy lettuce plants here are starting to actually look leafy instead of twiggy. And um, my tomatoes are really starting to stand up. I've taken a few of the tomatoes out. I wasn't expecting so many of them to actually successfully sprout, so I've given some of them away. But, um, yep, and I bought a strawberry plant um, about a week ago, and it started to get strawberries a couple of days ago. I'm so excited about that. This is the only one I'm not growing from 
scratch. But um, as you can see that I had flowers when I first got it and I was checking them I think two days ago and the first strawberries were coming out and boy did they grow fast once they start. I've been watering them like crazy to keep up and I'm so excited for the time when I get to actually record that um, actual red strawberries have grown. I'm hoping the weather will play nice. But until then, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one or the more normal ones that I do, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Sunday and most Thursdays. And other than that, I'll see you next time.